Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO. And I'm Money Mose, by the way. And we create content every damn day. Hey, man. Hey, man. We here, man. We in the building, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. We are, yeah, we here with a guest today, man. Uh, y'all probably done seen him in the back on the wheels of steel. They used to call it when a nigga was. Yeah, that, he wasn't in the game when they called it that, though. <laughs> Check it, man. My boy Lil Zach is here, man. DJ Lil Zach, what's going on? Yeah, Lil Zach the DJ. I'm in the building. What's going hey, on, man? So, so, man, what's up? What's poppin'? Man, you young niggas, man. Y'all running the city like P did it, nigga. Hey, man, I'm trying to do, trying to, trying to just do what I got to do, man. So, I, I just want to uh, just get a little bit of your story. What's up, man? What's up, Money Moses? You, what's up, man? This guy here, DJ. What, what is one of the things that trip you out about? Is you gonna do the interview with us, nigga? I'm doing interview, <laughs> nigga. You texting? I'm still doing interview, nigga. Here. Tripping, man. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, it's called multitasking. Bro, that wasn't that, that wasn't no bro. multi nothing, nigga. Yeah, that was, was one dimensional, you nigga. This boss talk, baby. You boss that, talk. <laughs> you said that say he's a you said that say he's a DJ. Yeah, okay. I don't listen to you, man. Okay, I'm well tell me what's going on, man, with the DJ scene, nigga. You was at the club more than me. Bro. Here lately. It depends on what type of DJ you is. Cause some can turn the crowd up, some can make the crowd leave, and some just ain't got no crowd. What kind are you? Shit. Zach, come on, little Zach. Tell us, man. I'm a tour DJ, but I'm a club DJ also. I started out in the clubs. Okay, okay. Yeah, I started out in the clubs and uh well really I started out in houses, goddamn it, doing kickbacks. Are you the same? did you used to DJ for uh uh Mo Three? Yeah. You was that guy. I was Mo Three DJ. Sure. I sure was, man. Let's was, uh, let's talk about that a little bit because that's his favorite rapper after he passed away. But I ain't gonna I'm not gonna judge him. But at any rate, look at him. People always say that but you know, look at my past. But, but, but <laughs> this is my nigga. Okay, so just talk talk about it a little bit because that was that had to be an intense situation for you too, man. Yeah. Far as just because I didn't had the uh the DJ on here. If you was on the wall or he seen prophecy films, yeah. he done been on here. I'm the only one that ever interviewed him. Yeah. So I mean just Tell me a little bit about how that was in that atmosphere, you know, just when it all took off. Were you the whole time with him or just partial? No, nah, uh, he had he had Junie Baby before me. Okay. Um, but shit, really, like, Mo3, I'm going to just keep it all the way solid. Like, really, Mo3, that, I just, I said that probably like my third rodeo. Okay. So before Mo3, you know what I'm saying, I was with uh, Lil Runny Mother Elf. Okay. Uh, I wasn't a DJ then, but shit, I was, you know, playing down at every role. Uh, before that, I was with T. Wayne. Uh, he had the song the nasty freestyle, you know what I'm saying? So I pretty much I I I, I came out as an artist and then ultimately when I went to college at Sam Houston, you know, I, I ended up being a DJ and shit. Shit just worked out. But as far as with Mo Three, I mean, shit, we did a lot. I amplified a lot of a lot of things that he had going on. Um, from the graphics to putting shit together, putting the tour list together, um, shit, booking shows, features, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. Everything you know, what I'm saying with the producers, you know, what I'm saying I put one of the, I put together one of the biggest songs Mo Three ever had, which, which one? was Outside. Wow, you put together, you you put it yeah. together, and when you say put it together, explain. <gasps> Shit, they didn't know each other. You, but I now see this. This where it go foggy for me, because when <laughs> when I dealt with uh, I both, I, when I dealt with uh. uh Cause there's so many different Bobby Billions. It was like, what, what, what? He told me was so. So Bobby Billions, he pretty much told me that it insinuated the fact that it was because of the say cheese post that uh, uh, Mo three looked him up. So are you saying you uh, you put them together as far as physically coming together? Cause they didn't ever meet, right? They never met. So how did you how did you play part in it? Uh, so the say cheese link that like so. Bobby, I don't know how he got on Say Cheese, but that's just like anything else. Niggas be on Say Cheese all, all the time, but it's one thing. If I see a nigga on Say Cheese and then six months later, you be like, hey, man, when you came to Boss Talk and I was showing you such and such, it was one of them situations. So, shit, Bobby, I had, I had in between that time, I heard the song. When I heard the song, I was like, hell yeah, yeah. So I'm I'm giving Bobby the rundown. Like, hey, bro, shit, just send me an open verse. I'm already knowing, I'm already knowing my move, you know what I'm saying? So... I tell him to send me the open verse in 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 between time. Shit, me Rain had a so damn book that we on the road from Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So when I do that, I mean, shit, when we when we on the road, shit, a nigga just playing a song, and over time, 
it was just a situation to where like three like damn shit you might as well just I like this motherfucker now shit what a, like you who, played it that much hell yeah hell yeah you knew it was a dope song Man, I still got the receipts on that shit wow and hey and, and you can go back and and, and listen to into buddy interview like he's saying it you know what I'm saying like if you all his first interviews, he was saying it, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it ain't a secret, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, and yeah, so, yeah. for you to to be able to recognize that you have an ear for the music. Yeah. So, so when you heard it the first time, how did you approach, uh, so Mo3 actually approached you about it as you were playing? I mean, so, it was more a situation like, bro, we just on the road Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so I'm just playing music. And as music keep playing, you know, nigga gonna keep playing what you like. If you like Young Thug, nigga gonna play Young Thug. So, shit, nigga like, hey, bro, play that song, da-da-da. So, over time, shit, three was just like, shit, I like this song and shit. I already know what he he a rapper, you know what I mean? So, shit, he asked me a little shit about Bobby, you know what I'm saying? Nigga didn't really know Bobby like that, so I'm just telling him what I know from shit, just the internet and just the people that I know that's around, that, that was around Bobby, because Bobby was a promoter in Houston, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um... Shit, eventually over time, shit, the shit just got done and shit. Bobby sent me the open verse, like, and it's crazy to say, but I told Bobby straight up, I'm like, bro, hey, bro, I work at 1501. I work with shit, Dev Jam 300. I work with all these labels, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna make you no promises, you know what I'm saying? So you kind of was looking at helping him to get known, seen, bro. I knew, the, I knew the song was a hit, point blank, period. Without me in the equation, Mo3 would have never did the song. I'm gonna just be straight up. Really? Hell see, yeah. see that that's something that I wouldn't have never knew. You know, when I look yeah, yeah. at the process, because, because the, the process is real. But see, I, I I I just say this. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't it ain't no smoke to nobody. You know what I'm saying? But if I would have put Erica Banks on that song, you think that song would have did the same thing? If I would have put a local nigga in Houston on that song, you think the song would have did the no. same thing? No, you put the right person on that song. So that was it was my person. decision. I was the one that said, "Hey, bro." I'm the one I had it all schemed out in my head. I I wasn't gonna tell three that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause at the time Bobby was lower than him, so shit, it was like shit. Three would have probably charged him. You know what I'm saying? It was yeah. all, you know what I'm saying? It was a, a, a situation like that. Did, but at the end of the day, it all worked out. You know what I'm saying? Did, did OG uh, Bobby Billions ever thank you for just helping him in, in that aspect? Shit, I don't know. You should ask him. I, I will <laughs> now that I know because I do. I actually interview him. Damn yeah, we I'm gonna, gonna ask, ask him. This. But I was if he never thanked you or if, if he never felt like you was a part of it. Or, and early on, you say he had he had known that. It's crazy how this game go because it's something that that people <laughs> listen, man. Uh, some say cheese. Sean, Sean, Sean Cotton, Cotton said, "Listen, man." Sean Cotton said, "You never know somebody until they get money." Uh, I'm being real. This is something he said, and it yeah. stuck with me because it's a whole different ball game out here. You know, like I said, I never, I, I don't know the ins and out of what what goes on with the music, like everybody. But I love music, yeah. and and you for you to have an ear for that, and and for you to be a person who's been in, intertwined in this so long. How many years you been in it? Shit, I've been doing this shit since I was like 14, 13. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and hey, but, I got a question about that. Hey, do, did uh. Did uh, Bobby Beers know you was getting mostly on that song? Did he actually know that? I mean, it was kind of, it was kind of like, you know, shit. It was kind of one of them things where, like, bro, nigga, I know, but he ain't know for shit. That, that's, so that's, that's why reason why I'm saying this because, like, Bobby Beers could like he could be like, damn, I don't know if he really did it or mostly just just did it. He don't understand. like look from his point of view. Nah, he knew for like wow. I mean, because I was the one that caught like Bobby was sleep when the, when three went up in the kitchen. He was sleep. Oh, you called Bobby and told him. Yeah, yeah, I was blowing him up like, "Hey, nigga, go check your shit." Woo -woo -woo -woo. When he woke up, he was like, "Damn, I still got the messages." You know what I'm saying? It ain't a secret. Oh, yeah, you know that. Wow. You know. So, so yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah. And let, let me ask you this, man. And I mean, shit. How else would Mo Three get the instrumental? The song wasn't no viral song anyway. So, no. <laughs> it, it, somebody had to get it to so, like him. I say, it was a good song before it, before <laughs> it went. <clears throat> so, Lil Zach, let me ask you, man. So, being on the road, being with Mo Three, Neem. When when uh cause after uh after um what's the comedian guy named the guy Roy Lee after Roy Lee passed away yeah. we see the birthday song coming all that you was around during that time yeah 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 and so did you think that that was gonna be as impactful as it was during the time for as the way things was I'm not gonna say beef but just the way things was laying out did you think that that how did you feel about the whole situation going through it shit I didn't now know that you look back. What you talking about? Just the two nineteen? Yeah, uh, I knew two nineteen was gonna be big because Roy Lee was big. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I knew two nineteen. I knew I knew all of this shit was gonna be big. I mean, shit, really, bro. Mo three was like 
Then I like the underdog, so shit, I consider myself an underdog. So I knew then everything he was doing was, you know what I'm saying, nigga? He was doing half a million views in a day. Wow. He was doing two, three hundred thousand like little freestyles, you know what I'm saying? And so, he, he was sad too, but people never took him serious. Like he was sad shit for real. He was sad. No, he would say that. Oh, he would say that. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Mo three was doing millions. Still to this day, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he 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 his his music do millions, you know what I'm saying? And hundreds of thousands. So I knew all of this shit was gonna be big, you know what I'm saying? It was just a, a matter of when the world was gonna get on it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the machi- the 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 work ethic that I had and Rain had, it was crazy, bro. So Yeah, yeah. How so how how was it working with rainwater during that time? That rainwater. What you mean? It was perfect. As far as like how was he far as uh, like his his hustle and his grind. Y'all y'all was in sequence like a yeah, yeah. like 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 synchronized swimmers. Y'all was just yeah, moving yeah. on the movement. See, I, I you know like see I I didn't stay in Dallas, so a lot of this a, a lot of a lot of stuff that I was doing like shit. It was more like running and gunning. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. got to be here. We got to be there. Shit, we'll fly here. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We'll drive to two three cities and drive right back to the airport to Atlanta and then we'll fly back to you know what I'm saying our final destination you know back home you know what I'm saying so yeah how, how was it though like like far as uh, the, it, the, so you didn't really have to worry about the beef and the way things was moving because you were just there for the business part of it when a show come up you there but other than that you was moving a different way or you was just with them y'all was all together at all times I mean shit we was we was we was I was with Mo three a lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So nigga had to move a certain way, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I ask these same questions to everybody, man. So yeah. don't think it's strange when DJ nah. Trap when DJ Trap came on here. I asked him, "Hey, man, how was you know how was it nah, DJ niggas, niggas being a shit, DJ? And, shit, but you ain't in it, yeah. but you really it, you kind of in the yeah, mix. In it, yeah. You in it. yeah, you in the mix, but you doing what you do. You yeah, you yeah. just playing the music. So would you ever play like uh, anybody else's music? Because I asked that's what I asked. Uh, um, DJ Trap, I was like, did you play like like yellow music during you know? I mean, like uh, Mo three million. He said he did. You know, did you ever play anybody else's music when you was throwing parties or whatever? Oh, what no. you mean, like while I was with Mo three? Yeah. Hell no. I mean, why would I do that? No, I mean like, well, he. I know why he did it though, because that some of the music that uh, uh, Yellow had was so big, or, or some of the music that Mo three had was so big, he would play the music. You know what I mean? Because yeah. the city loved Mo three, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that, and it's just like when you in the city, like he was. I guess it kind of, you know what I mean? It made yeah, sense yeah. to play yeah, it. Play his whole album. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the city loved it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, wh- how did it affect you? Like, like, and we gonna walk through this. Like, how did it affect you once, once when you heard that Mo three passed away? Shit, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't never cried how I cried that day. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that shit was, that shit still unbelievable, bro. Do you think that the city, and, and I'm not going to stay on this too long because it's, it's been a year now, over a year. Do you think that 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 he got his just due from the city? What you mean? As far like, as people coming out supporting, you know, the family and stuff after he passed away. Yeah, no, nah, like, I don't even, I don't believe half of this shit. Okay. Like, all the Mo3 love now, like, I still know it's fake. Wow, just because he passed away. Cause yeah, he yeah, like I don't believe there. this shit. Motherfuckers ain't don't really like, motherf- like Mo three has the net like the 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 three characters M O and the number three together in a hashtag. That is such a popular thing to say and and to talk about. It's just like I just I just honestly believe in my head, like bro, like people just like it's like some clout shit. I get it. I get yeah, it. yeah. People just using the the words Mo three just for cloud. Cloud, yeah. yeah, yeah. But you was really with him, so it makes a difference. Yeah, man. yeah. I done had Rain on here a few, t- about three times actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, he always give great interviews, man. I ain't gonna lie, this yeah, dude. Yeah. I don't know, this dude is crazy. Yeah, he he called me sometime. No I'll be like, oh, he say he ain't no genius. Ain't this no is genius. this is op right here, a little bit Look, on, the, on, no the mic, way, cool. on the mic, on the mic, on the mic, mic op. Yeah, right one, cool. He like Rain, but when Rain here, he gonna go with it. They go, hey, they go yeah. back and forth when you hear so this. Saying, is part if, of the if, if he a genius, if he a genius, and Mo three a genius too. All three of them a genius together. Yeah, they, they, they was a hell of a team. Genius. Y'all did a great work, work man. And I didn't even know yeah. you. My, my, actually, uh, Mo three. I mean, uh, Rainwater brought you up when he came on the show the first time. He, cause he told me you went, cause I, I don't know how we got on you, and he was like you went with a black youngster. You was his DJ now. Yeah. I so, am. But, but he definitely told me that. So shout out to Rain for he he still like he would he brought you up. I well, know so, you meant so something. So that song to with him. black youngster Mo three. You had something to do with that? 
the song with Black Youngster and Mo Three, no. Oh, I that know. was just uh, something that happened. Yeah, that was just something that happened. Yeah. So, um, what's the uh, what's? Give me a pivotal moment because uh, I don't want to get off the Mo Three. Mo Three is so you re, you you say it because it's passionate and you know that uh, that some of this stuff is fake, right? Yeah. But I think it's a thing where he was such a a a. a, a he was a dope artist. He was a impactful artist, bro, that people going to speak on him in the way that they do because of the fact of how his legacy is now. Yeah. You don't, you, but, but see, people don't understand even prophets get more popular when you die. When you go through a martyr, then people look up to you more. I mean, like, this. ultimately what I'm saying is it's like when Mo3 was living, it's like motherfuckers were scared to even listen to Mo3. In Dallas, and I'm gonna just say at least. Well, yeah, some people. I, I mean, because I can remember just my because of the, my, just bro, because my brother forced me to listen to Mo after Three the beef. after the beef, right? I'm saying like during the beef. Okay. Like you had you had real diehard Mo Three fans that was listening, playing Mo Three, but all of the extra shit that came afterwards, bro, motherfucker, bro, come on, I'm from here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I still got family, all my family here. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. So. Man, I, I just think it's dope that you got that to be a part of that legacy. Yeah, you yeah, are yeah. part of that. Yeah, that's the camp. The, the prophecy is a part of that. Yeah, yeah y'all got real skin in the game. Yeah. So when you come, like I told, because that's what uh, Rainwater like. When I leave here today, you gonna put Mo Three in the title and say Mo Three Manager was here. I say, nigga, you Mo Three Manager, nigga. What, uh, how else would I title it? Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, but I get it. The passion and the and the, and the love you have for it to where you know that a nigga ain't really real genuine about it because he wasn't with y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that too. Uh, but let's get let's get to a uh, black youngster, man. Like, how was it transitioning over after all of that had happened? Um, I mean, the transition is like it was it was smooth. It was smooth. Yeah, yeah. Did you uh, were it you traveling like, and touring, or yeah, what was yeah, going yeah. on? I mean, I'm pretty much the end of doing the same shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, once I get to the equation, I'm DJing and then shit. Niggas find out you do X X Y and Z and shit. It's pretty much the same thing. So how I, did you link with him? Uh, I actually linked with with Black Youngster through his manager. Okay, yeah, through his manager, uh, Twenty Five Riches, and then shit. But I had I, I had previously did some other shit that Black Youngster remembered me from. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I had interviewed his brother. His brother ended up dying. Um, uh, well, two two of his brothers. You know what I'm saying? And then one of them ended up dying. So he remembered that interview. You know what I'm saying? So, and then I knew him through a whole bunch of mutual people. Like I knew him. I knew him through. Uh, one of my other partners And then shit His manager Then Mo3 did the song with him Then the interview So it kind of all came into, sense Came into cahoots You know what I'm saying uh, When his manager Brought me back up again Wow Hell yeah it, It's just a dope thing To see um, You know the way that you, the traction is going for you and your ear for the music. You say, you know, I know you got ear for the music for what you said about the outside mm -hmm. song. Yeah. But let's, let me, let's talk about your ear today. This today ear. Yeah. You know, how, how do you think things are flowing now as far as the music in Dallas? Do you, do you see those hits or do you think it's dry or do you think it's an open lane? What's up with it? I feel like, I feel like Dallas got some shit going on. Okay, What? Man, it's crazy. I just did another interview. They asked me the same shit. But I'm going to just say the same shit. Okay. I feel like Dallas don't embrace the shit that they got whenever whenever it's actually going because the shit down there ain't cool. Okay, what they got? I mean, shit, now you got a lot of niggas you out here. You a DJ. Yeah. You, 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 name it. Name, like, shit, now what I'm... The person that I'm talking about is Lil Earl. Like Lil Earl, got he some was over here. That's my guy. Lil Earl, C4S, they whole C4S. They okay. got some big shit going. Like motherfuckers just ain't tapped into their TikTok world to even see it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Unique music, Joker, all of them. Like I'm, 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 I'm supporting it. You know what I'm saying. Like yeah. all the way. But you ain't got like like I told Tier. I'm like, bro, you ain't got no gatekeeper. It, on everybody on the gatekeeper list, ain't nobody posting them. Cause they ain't out here doing such and such, and they ain't talking about no street music. So it's like, to a to a naked eye, it look like damn Dallas ain't got nothing going on. But shit, really Dallas do got something going on. Motherfuckers just ain't embracing it. You wow. Know what I'm so so you mentioned the gatekeeper list. Yeah, there it yeah, is. The gatekeeper list. You know, yeah, yeah. you you pay attention to the gatekeeper list. I mean, it's cool. So do you think that the <laughs> gatekeeper list is a legitimate list, or do you think it's just it's uh, fabricated and it really ain't no real gatekeepers? I mean, some some people on there are gatekeepers for sure. Okay, but I feel like feel like thirty percent of it is true. 
the other shit is bullshit. Okay, okay, I get it, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely, like, what do you feel like the gate the gatekeepers? That's the thirty percent. You feel like they doing something? I can't even remember who all on that bitch, but it's I coming do. out. It ain't came out yet. Have it? I'm talking about the last, the last one. one. But I'm saying like, bro, man, that's some bullshit. You know, some of them was real. Now some of them real, like Sean, Sean Cotton came in number one I over knew. Jay Prince. I knew most like of Sean. Them. Okay, you got to add Sean Rain. Um, who else was on that bitch? It was a bunch of people on it. Uh, Half Paint was on it, yeah, wasn't Half it? Half Paint. Uh, <laughs> Sean. Rain, goddamn, who else was on that bitch? Oh, Carl Crawford. Carl Crawford. Um, damn, I can't even remember who else on that bitch. But, but still, it, yet and still, the list oh, came. B, uh, BC was on that bitch. BC was on it. Yeah. You know, like like you say, thirty percent. You start knocking some of them out at that thirty. Now you it, some of the names you just named. was a little fucked up, but my <laughs> <laughs> was a little fucked up. Yeah, but yeah, it's some. I mean, other people they like, man, what the fuck? Who life have you changed? What if you did? I get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I get it. Um, do you do you do you see that 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 the 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 music in this city, the the way we moving as entrepreneurs, as as the podcasters and the bloggers? Do you how do you feel about that blog work? Because it's heavy in Dallas. Like nobody else is. is you got all these different platforms. I, nobody else is coming like uh, like like this this platform and that platform and this other platform told, in the somebody, Dallas market. I told I told somebody else, bro. That's the that's the difference between Dallas and Houston. Houston don't got this. No, they don't. Dallas, they got this. They gonna post all the the bad, the good, the ugly, whatever you don't want, whatever your mama want, all of that. In Houston, man, niggas playing by the rules. They going against politics is the most shit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know what I'm so, so, so when you think about Houston, Dallas, all of these different, uh, uh, Atlanta, yeah. Uh, uh, when you think of all these different places, uh, you say Dallas is the the one that got the most bloggers, interviewers. Uh, this heat. But you got some down nah, in Atlanta, nah, too. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Atlanta, 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 they got some, but, you know, they bigger. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, if Boss Talk was in Atlanta, I ain't gonna lie to you. Should it be four times bigger? I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't, I, because I don't be just charging niggas and yeah. doing all this crazy. I mean, I was already established as a businessman, and I've yeah. been here for like 15 years, going on 16 I come from a place where I'm just doing something just for the hell of it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But other people take it serious, serious. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Serious, but me, I'm point. just I'm out here because I want to be, not because I have to be. And I and me and Rain talked about that the yeah. one day. Uh, I just I do what I do because I want to do it. Yeah. You understand? Know yeah. <laughs> Everybody nah. else, they just but do not, it like like. A, uh, Atlanta got it though, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah Dallas yeah. got it for sure though. In the South, you gotta come to Dallas and get your blog on. You gotta come talk talk to these people because I ain't gonna lie, yeah, it's gonna be out the loop. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know to be honest with you, just to go back on it a little bit, Boss Talk only been around a year. Yeah, which these other niggas y all, y all, been around eight years, which five years. A statement though, for sure. Oh, they, nigga, they in trouble. A real nigga sitting on the mic. Look at this nigga. Mm -hmm. yeah. I ain't even talking about me. Look at that nigga right quick. Statement, though. <laughs> Thank you, man. For the show, we for just sure. having a good time, man. That's why when you came, we like Boss Talk on. Some, yeah, we don't, we don't. Whole, no, hey, it's no, it's all fun, bro. It's we just it's having a good fun. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you like to? How you like to feel when you come in? And I'm fucking with it for real. The whole vibe. Thanks, man, no, man. Sure. Like I said, we trying to push, man. And uh, you right, man. If we was, I guess, if I was, I don't know, paying ads and doing, I don't, man. I just, I just throw it out there. Everything you see is organic. Damn. Ain't nothing fabricated. Yep. You see what I'm saying? That's yep. the difference. Now that's 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 that's, that's, that's good. Got <laughs> some shit going on. <laughs> So let me ask you this, man. When you was with, uh, uh, say, Black Youngster, yep. uh, are you still with him? Yeah. So y'all still traveling together? Uh, y'all still, when he go do a show, you the man back there. Yep. So let, let me get it. I'm uh, going to go in. Who he signed with first? That's what I'm going to say because from what I heard here lately, I know, nigga, you don't want to answer this. Wait a minute. <laughs> y'all niggas be saying some <laughs> Man, no, hey, wait a minute. I don't want to know. Is he, signed with, is he yeah, still yeah, with yeah. Yo Gotti or what's yeah, going on? Yeah. You didn't see the tweet. Nah, what happened? Why wouldn't he, man? But the CMG heavy count. What you talking about? Okay, so so because people saying they kicked him off after all the the drama yeah, and all yeah, that. I knew it was a I wanted to hear from you. Oh yeah, yeah. Cause you in the you with him. Yeah, you man, on the y'all niggas saying some crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. The crazy internet. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, but I damn it feel like that shit came from Dallas. That's some, that's how big Dallas blogging is. Like I feel like that lie came from Dallas, bro. Like, For real. Damn. I feel like it because it like shit. <laughs> Everybody else they don't even trip because the show was in Dallas. And yeah, that's the word. That's what. But look what he did in Dallas. 
Man. He ain't do that nowhere else. He brought us. He brought yeah. that to he us, bro. Here. Man. What the hell are you talking about? That nigga brought that over here. He did it to himself. Man. So all the bloggers and all the internet people here are going to definitely speak on it mm. because this is where it hit first. Yeah. And you was on the wheels of steel then, wasn't he? Yeah. You <laughs> I'm doing my thing. Yeah, so how That's did you feel it. that night when that happened? When what happened? When, when, he, when he did the diss song after Dolph's passing. And you was in there. Man, shit, we been performing the diss song. Oh, it wasn't the first time? It did. I thought that was the first time since that happened. <laughs> no, I ain't tapped in enough. Man, nigga be doing shows year round, and nigga just captured this one time. That should be crazy though. That's what the baby just yeah, said about it wrote by Rolling Loud. He was like, nigga, I I didn't even say nothing. You know what I'm saying? But nigga, take this one piece, and they just make it crazy on the crazy. internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They fabricate a lot, don't they? Man, I ain't well, a lot of internet. Win. You can't win. You can't win. Here now, you can't win the internet. I ain't a lot. I got. I know a couple niggas who done beat the internet for sure. A couple, a couple out of how many? A million. Okay, exactly. okay, name it. Who was it? Uh, shit, a couple niggas. <laughs> you can name them. I ain't. Hey, hey look, that, that, that conversation to get too deep too fast. So we gonna go to some else for <laughs> sure, man. Yeah, you so, can beat them. That's a win. Yeah, little Zach. So tell me something that 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 sticks out to you on one of the shows that you done that was like, wow, I couldn't believe that it happened. And for black youngster, for yeah. whoever, anything, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie. One time I was with three. We was in damn Little Rock or somewhere. I think it was somewhere in Arkansas. My whole laptop went black. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. He, this nigga went acapella for like fifteen minutes in the middle of the crowd, and they rock with it. Hell yeah! And I was just on the mic. Oh, you got to see me live in action. You just don't. You know. You go in. You just don't. I'm know. coming. Nigga. I'm gonna be sitting right up <laughs> you there just with you, nigga. Know. Yeah, next, I want to see. Show. Win next show. Yeah, we got to get there. We got to yeah, come in. Don't but I don't like being but the crowd, know, I, my I nigga. Start, I started doing that, like man, like I ain't gonna lie, like I was a huge DJ before I got with Mo Three. Okay. College DJ, you know what I'm saying? I was rocking Spring Fest, Homecomings, Kickbacks. I was doing it all, you know what I'm saying? So my track record go back from way back then, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. as far as like being on the mic and stuff, so. Yeah, for sure. That's dope, man. I like I said, you you one of them ones, man. Yeah. Nigga would never even know you was uh, out here doing your thing, but people make known that, like 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 I said, when Rain came on here, he yeah. made mention of you, man. That's dope. Like, like can't, can't you got to be doing it right. Yeah, yeah. You know, just just really with me just moving and shaking the industry, like being a a streets A and R, like you know what I'm saying. Like it's other people. Like I'm went five times go. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For but for real, for real. Like in real life. <laughs> Like in real life <laughs> Yeah yeah Mo, Mo 3 wasn't the only artist That I You know what I'm saying I was a part of the situation Like from Erica Banks The Bust It Bust It You were pushing that thing Did you get a You got a, the record and everything The plaque Yeah the plaque I got them all in my car You wanna go get them Are you serious what God. Man get them in here nigga Y'all yeah Stop playing I bring playing. them all in this bitch Nigga I put the whole line them up Nigga we nigga, take I bring them all in this yeah, bitch <laughs> That's dope though That you were part of all that bro Yeah hey, yeah Erica you, Banks Bust It I actually got another one. Um, I, I when when that come, I'm, I'm gonna come do another interview. Let's do it. Let the whole world know. Yeah, and and we need to Cause, let it be known. It's like it's like really like the whole situation like with DJs in Texas. Like it's like they don't be respecting a the nigga. They don't, bro. You know don't. what I'm saying? I'm then you, you got you got don't. these old, older older DJs who just then they're in the way, and it's cool. I respect them. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's like man, you got young niggas like me, shit. I broke a lot of records, bro. I helped. I helped. I was a part of a lot of people's situation for shit show from Erica Banks, Bust It, Megan Thee Stallion, Big Old Freak, uh, B King, then Leave. You know what I'm saying? Mo three outside. I physically, you know, we already talked about that. Then the broken love. You know what I'm saying? So, man, how, why do you think that you do? You think people give you your just do your recognition like that? They don't know. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, I ain't gonna lie. I just been, I just been so fast busy, forwarded, yeah. so busy. Like I ain't, like I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been getting to it. You know what I'm saying? People know if you know, you know. But for for show for show now, yeah, I'm finna come, I'm finna come stamp that. I, you need to. <laughs> I'm finna come stamp that. When, when I was down in ATL, somebody told me, man, E man, I see your show, you dope, man, but you ain't loud enough, nigga. Yeah. Like you got you got to sometimes stick your chest out and let them know, yeah. nigga. This me, nigga, and this one. You know, you know. and you know, we just did one of the biggest South by Southwest shows for sure. Trap Mania, me and Rainwater. Oh yeah, come on, quit playing. You ain't been bro. I ain't tell. I, I hey, Rainwater makes like you doing shit himself, bro. He got help. <laughs> Rainwater, he got fucking help, bro. <laughs> he he, he love me and Rain. That's his man. I ain't gonna lie. 
Nigga, Ryan, the book of orders, I'll book of orders, he'll book of orders, I'll book of... He said, how many you at? I said, I'm at five. He said, I'm at six. I said, fuck it, I'm going to go book, a, book another artist. That's dope that y'all yeah, work yeah. together like that, man. Yeah, People yeah. can't find somebody to Trump push. Manny, I ain't gonna lie, Trump Manny was the biggest South by Southwest showcase thus far. Play with your mom if you, if you, if you, if you think we lying. Wow. Hey, man, uh, yeah. he said that, y'all, and he stand on that. Hey, why you don't marry no artists? Why would I do that? I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to do that. You got to talk about go. You yeah, got yeah. it's all the ways you get. I put I put the songs together already. I put the songs together from the producer to the writers to the you know what I'm saying. I got it. I got an ear for it. I so know. You get writers credit too. Who? You. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See. Give me, Bro, give all me. you got to do is go go listen to Mo Three last two three albums. I'm on them. Top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Number one, Mo Three, hands down. Mo Three that way. Number yeah. two. <laughs> Gates Oh Kevin Gates uh, Okay Number three Man I ain't even gonna do you like that Ooh wee Ooh wee Dead it? or alive Yes God damn <laughs> Number I ain't gonna three lie, I, gotta, I gotta go with Drake Wow So Drake got in there nigga. Damn, Burley yeah. nigga That's straight bro. up My boy Lil Zach That told you Drake yeah, Burley yeah. made it In that top Drake three Drake own world bro Yeah yeah <laughs> Hey man So hey man Thank you for coming on the show man So hey, you yeah. say you gonna come back And bring them plaques And let me lay them out Yeah I gotta lay them bitches out now Already Take I'm an intermission yeah, and you're going to bring them, and I'm going to take pictures, I'm going to bring them hoes in. Take an intermission. Come on with it, man. Hey, man, it's your boy, ECEO, man. It's another, been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk.